Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn conditional formatting using UiPath apps. So what do I mean by conditional formatting? Here I have a table of students and then the marks for each different subjects. If I am going to select one of the student and click on show total, what is happening? 278 total marks are coming for the student A and also at the same time the color of the text box is changing to green in color and the text color has changed to white in color. If I am going to select B and click on show total, what is happening? You can see the moment I have selected B, it is clearing the previous data. The moment I click on show total, it is showing 160 and red in color because it did not meet certain conditions. It is low and if I am going to click on C and click on show total, you can see 244 with yellow color black text is coming. So how all of this can be done in this video, we are going to focus. So let's get started. Let me clear the screen. The very first thing that we will do, we will import the entity known as student marks. This student marks is a simple table containing the data and coming from your data service. Now on the main page, I am going to click on the plus sign and click on get a table control. Simply type table, drag and drop the table control. Once it is there, all I have to do the data source. It's quite simple, right? All you have to do just put the data source and in the entities, I have to select the table. So that way in runtime, when you click on preview, you can see all the data is coming, but not coming in a proper order. So to order this data, all I have to do, go to the table and here I have option to drag and keep it as I need. Okay. So you can see it has been kept in proper order. Now, once this is done, I am going to drag and drop or select uh, a drop down. Let me drag and drop a drop down. In this drop down, let's give some label to this saying select student. And I would like to show those student names in this drop down. For that, in the list source, click on equals to symbol and put the entity student marks. And in that entity, which column you would you like to show for that, expand it and select the specific column name. So name is coming. Now if I do a preview, you can see the names has been organized properly and here it is giving me option to select the students. Okay, done. Let's move on to the next part. I am going to add a small button. And I am going to change the style. Let's have some name here. Let's say total marks and put some icon. Let's a kind of a plus symbol I'm putting done. Now the moment I click on the button, I want to see the results in a text box. So put a text box, which is a number type. Okay. Done. Now in the text box, I'm going to remove the label because I don't need the label. So it will be like this. Okay. Now, the very first thing we need to understand, the moment I am going to select the student A, for example, and click on total marks, it has to sum all the values, physics, chemistry, maths, and show it here. Let's achieve that first. For that, let's go to the main page, and I am going to use the data context feature. Put a equals to symbol, and we will be using lookup. Okay, there's a function called lookup function. So by doing lookup function, what would happen? It is going to give me the entire row of data. Pretty simple for the student. So here I'm going to put a parenthesis, open and close parenthesis. I would like to look the data in the student marks table, put a comma, and then within the square bracket, we have to write the condition. So what is the condition I'm saying in this entity, the name of this entity, comma equals to put a comma, and then say as per the drop down value. So the drop down value will be there in the page. So click here and the drop down selected value. Okay. So whatever the value is there in the drop down, 
that should match with the student's table name okay and it is going to reflect the entire row that means it is going to show physics chemistry maths for student a if i am selecting a in the drop down similarly if i select student b it is going to show the all of all of this physics chemistry maths everything will appear okay so this is the data context i have set for the main page now by doing that what would happen i'll go to the total marks click on the events create a rule and i'm going to say set value here i will use a variable so i have created a small variable called total marks i'm going to use that variable and put a equals to symbol and use the sum function what is the sum function uh, here it is so sum function and then i'm going to say uh, you know the marks by whatever being selected okay so for that i am using data context because you have created a data context in the main page here you find data context now in the data context i am going to select you should sum the physics marks of the data context data context is nothing but it is a look up value for the drop down we have selected okay so it will have only carry that specific value for the student so i select physics then i am going to select chemistry then put a comma okay so here i have used a plus symbol you should not use a plus symbol you have to put a comma because you have used a sum function right so no need of a plus there and now again put a comma and chemistry is done let's put under data context maths okay so physics chemistry math it will sum and put the value in total max now let's see if it is first of all showing the data or not let me hit on preview okay so let me select student a and i'm going to hit on total marks so somewhere it is not showing what is the reason it is not showing because for this text box we did not do a value binding so let's put a value binding i am going to say total marks okay now let's hit on preview so here i am going to select the student a and hit on total marks so now it, it you can see it is giving the sum if i am going to select student b and hit on total marks it is showing for all of the students okay it is showing now how do i get a you know kind of a coloring done for this text box so for that let's open a calculator and put some condition okay only when it is greater than 90 percentage the total marks uh, then uh, it should become green okay it should become green now for that so it is 100 100 100 there are three subjects so 300 so 300 into uh, 90 percentage 90 percentage is equals to 270 so the first condition is 270 so let's do one by one okay so 270 i am going to put some conditions here so select this okay select this and go to the event create a rule and i'm going to say if condition if it did not appear properly if uh, now it has appeared let me delete this okay if else condition here i'm going to select compare and i'm going to say equals to total marks if it is greater than 270 greater than or equals to right greater than or equals to 270 then what you do then set the value set the value of what the main page text value okay so here if you click on this it is going to give you all different properties first of all i would like to set the background color okay background color of the text box has to be green so for that we can select something called light uh, green hex code light green hex code so you will get in google so you can just simply get one of the hash code and i'm going to paste it here okay so this is how it is going to appear if it is greater than 270 the background color is going to change to green color similarly you can target couple of other things for example uh, set value uh, i want to target the text color so similar way you can put a text color and put a hash code so for the moment i'm just leaving it okay so you understood how to how to be done so if it's greater than 270 it should be green color else i'm going to use another if then inside this i'm going to compare and i'm going to say equals to if the total marks where is the total marks um 
total marks is greater than equals to so 60 percent we have to calculate okay 60 percentage will be how much so we'll calculate that in the calculator i'm going to say 300 into 60 percentage equals to 180 so greater than equals to 180 then i would like to put a yellow color let's say okay yellow color so set value i'm going to set the value of what the text box right so text box text box background color i want to put light yellow color so i will say light yellow hex code okay so this is the light yellow so let me use it so based on if you don't do not like the color you can always change that so i got the if it is greater than equals to 180 then it should set to if, so first the condition will look at this if this is not there then it will come here and look at this if this is met then it will set to this else if not set value i would like to set the background color of the text okay to uh, red color let's say light red color x uh, what is the the color code is this okay so let me use this copy go here and put it done so i have got all of this hex codes ready so let's see if this is working or not otherwise we'll make modifications so hit on preview okay so i got the table let me select one of the student a and hit on total marks so you can see 278 green color has come very good now let me select student b and hit on total marks then 160 red in color because it is not meeting this below uh, 60 percent so c if i am total marks then it is in 244 244 it is coming light yellow color okay if you can see it it has come light yellow color okay so things are coming but the problem still i have a problem see for example i am going to select a this value should not appear like this it should clear i want this to be completely clear everything okay clear everything so re i want to reset it okay i want it to reset it should not show the previous values for example i have selected c so c has got a 244 now i am selecting a 244 should go away and the yellow color should also go away now to achieve this what we will do is target the select student okay i'll go to the event create a rule i am saying when the value changes in that box then what you do uh, then you should reset the uh, there's something called reset okay reset value then you should reset this text value so it is going to remove the value okay but it will not remove the color now to how do i target the color use the set value put a equals to sim i mean yeah click here and then select the background color and leave it blank okay leave it blank getting it so let's try this first if it is working or not so you can see the table has appeared i am going to select a student a and i'm going to click on total marks you can see 278 has come now the moment i'm going to select a stu another student b what is happening um, here if you see the value has not cleared see the value has not cleared the color has gone the, but the value has not cleared so let's see what is the problem go here edit rule uh, so i have asked it to reset the value uh, okay sorry uh, i should actually what i should do is remove the value of text uh, variable right so i'll use set value and here i am going to use text this should be cleared right total marks this value should be cleared okay so this value is cleared and the background color is also cleared so let's try it again preview okay so here i am going to select the student a total marks it is coming now i am going to select student b okay now it is working okay so it has cleared so you have understood now if i click on total marks it is coming now the moment i am going to select c okay, you can see it got cleared now if you want to see 244 so this is one of the sample way of designing conditional formatting using uipath apps this can be enhanced in a great way uh, depending on the need but here you got the logic now based on it on the requirement you have the option to explore and design your own thing 
so all right guys thank you very much for watching this we are going to meet once again in our next content do not forget to like the content that you are watching on my channel please do subscribe and do give it a like thank you